these senseless acts of vandalism are disturbing, they cannot compare to the cruel and brutal rampage carried out by four high school aged boys in the streets of Van Nuys, California. Their self-produced video, discovered by police, chronicled a three-night reign of terror that began with a borrowed car and a baseball bat. Okay, we just found a nice car. So, we're gonna bash. But anyway... a reputation. Look what we were able to do. I am bad. You want to see me swing? I can do these things and I have a place in society. Be careful of me. I feel down on myself when I just come in and do a little bashing. It wakes me up. That's my copy, my psychiatrist. Eventually, the teens became bored with smashing cars and turned their attention to unsuspecting pedestrians. <laughs> Human head baseball! <laughs> when you first turn the tape on and you see them laughing and they're breaking a few car windows, as bad as that is, it's still a crime against property. And then it escalated to a crime against people. Watch how we don't crash this place. Third night, a high-powered paintball gun had become the weapon of choice. <laughs> the victims, I'm sure, thought they were being shot by a real weapon. <laughs> if you see the terror on their face, they didn't perceive this as a prank. Especially the ones that got hit with a red paintball. Uh, they thought that was blood. that they're getting out of their activity is what shocked me. It's pretty rare that we ever get to look inside uh, a perpetrator's mind as he's committing the crime. I mean, they were enjoying themselves much too much. <laughs> Four youths were tried as adults and convicted on multiple felony counts. Each received a sentence ranging from two to four years in jail. Is this shocking case merely a social anomaly? Or is it a symptom of a widespread malady that has infected today's youth?